today I'm wearing my Alaska shirt that they sold at Urban Outfitters and somebody recognized who it was at the grocery store, which I thought was cute. Anyway, today you guys voted to see uh, my, I, I guess it's kind of, I'm, I'm not sure to, whether to just do a video of me making nail gloves or to do a tutorial. I didn't really want to ask because I didn't want people to say, oh, do a tutorial, then I had to do this whole in-depth thing. But um, I think that by seeing me do it and talking about it a little bit, I think that you'll get the gist of how to make them. They're pretty simple. Um, this is gonna be fun. I have way too much stuff to choose from and I also don't know what kind of design to go for, whether it should be, you know, more elegant looking or dark or themed or what. So that's gonna be the hardest part probably. Um, anyway, let me show you some of my stuff. So I have way too much stuff. Uh, yeah. So these are the hands that I do it on. Um, I had to find a right hand and a left hand so they're two completely different types of hands and they're also very stained from all of the stuff I've done to them already this is pretty much from uh, when I would put opera gloves like black opera gloves on them and I put um, for this particular set uh, nail polish that went off of the nails and onto the glove and then it caused issues same there I think um, and then in the inside one of the gloves has an eye on the, in the inside, so anyway, I just fuck these up a lot. So, um, oh, maybe I can try and clean them up a little bit with acetone, but because I wear acrylics, I'm always afraid to use acetone because I don't want to fuck them up. Anyway, in here, I have a bunch of different types of jewels that I use not only for the nails, but also to decorate the gloves themselves. I get all kinds from all types of places. This is the type of glue I use. It's kind of the only glue that really works to actually affix things. Um, I have a hot glue gun in here, and sometimes I use that to put the nails on the gloves because it works really well and it stays. Um, but when it comes to everything else, it's more delicate. Hot glue is not going to work. It's just going to look really globby and weird. This stuff is what you want. I've tried pretty much every type of glue out there, and this is the only one that actually stays the longest. Um, I've tried rhinestone glue, hot, or hot glue, super glue, all the glues. This is the winner. So if you're not using that, that's a good one to get. You can get it pretty much like, you know, you can get it at Joann's, Michael's, any of those places. Um, and here I think is just more, more stones. I love the AB ones, the ones that have this Aurora Borealis look to it, the rainbow. That's probably my favorite. It's like a roll of stuff. This is all stuff I've collected over time. A lot of my stones, um, just make sure you look up like Swarovski or um, crystals as opposed to rhinestones because the rhinestones look cheaper. And uh, all of these I got from Wish, wish.com. So it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, these were from luxurynailjewelry.com. They're really cool. They have a bunch of cool, fun stuff. Um, I've used most of the coolest ones that they've given me. This is a nail powder my friend gave me. Um, see, these are actual, these ones are rhinestones and not crystals. So when you look at them, you can see that they just look more plasticky and cheaper. As opposed to this kind that looks more... You know, really pretty. Yeah, you can see the difference when you look at them next to each other. Oh crap! I love when things break. And here I just put a bunch of small things that could go on nails. That one just broke out. Um, and sometimes I'll save stuff. Like this is an old phone case, and I figured I could take the chains and whatnot off and use them on nails. Um, these might be a little too big, but they might work because I mean my nail, you could probably fit on my nail, so if it does then you can work on other ones. I have all kinds of other jewels in here. 
Okay, here's some of the cooler stuff from Luxury Nail Jewelry. Oh yeah, that one's really pretty. I have a, a personal thing where I like to have everything be even. So if I have one on one nail, on so if I have something on like the middle nail of this one, I want the other one to match. I need it to 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 match, <laughs> but um, I I need it to be symmetrical. I so I have tried to do some stuff asymmetrical because I can't like I don't have two of these. So that's why I haven't used it yet, because I don't know what to put on the other one to make it feel like it's not completely asymmetrical. These are some tapes, some striping tapes that you can get for nails. I got these on Wish, I think. Um, these I actually got for something else entirely, but sometimes I'll use them on the gloves and I'll cover up the, the little holes so that it doesn't look like you know, that. Just a bunch of random decorative decorative stuff. Anyway, uh, in here is my bin full of gloves. All the gloves I also got on Wish. Why? Because it's cheaper. These types of gloves, the nude ones, are expensive pretty much no matter where you get them. On Wish, they're uh, not as expensive, but like, for instance, this was probably a 3 to $4, and this one was like, 11 to 15. I also like to play with fishnet stuff sometimes. My dogs are barking. I would say that if you're going to go for something that's durable, get opera gloves because these ones you can put the nails on, you can decorate them as much as you want, and they will pretty much stay that way. For a very long time the nails will be more durable if you want something that's more elegant where it looks like you know it has like the more nude or flesh tone because you can get different tones um gloves then these are really beautiful however <laughs> let me show you a set that's almost finished um let me get the one that's on a, right here see this set has some of the luxury nail nail stuff on it. it has this cute little dangly thing and it's all pretty and it's kind of see-through you can put rhinestones all over it however the issue is that this type of fabric is very delicate and it will break pretty easily since I wear acrylics on a regular basis if I do wear nail gloves it's very easy for me to punch, hole puncture holes in these so um it's even easy to do it if you don't wear acrylics just on a regular basis so just know that this type of fabric is more delicate than an opera glove which is way more durable so if you're looking for something that's going to last a very long time i would go more of this route um you can get those in all kinds of colors i have them in red i have black I have a bunch of black so. uh, pink I'm not really sure what I'm making today, but I have all of those. And then it comes to the nails. You can get nails in all kinds of packets. Um, I have these ones, which I have basically numbered. You can tell by which ones I tend to use. So I know which ones to put for each nail and which ones to use on a regular basis. These ones, I think, are the extra long ones. They're like really big, like that long. And that's really fun for something really dramatic. They're clear, so you can't really tell. Oh no, wait, these are the not the long ones. These are the short ones. Okay, I don't like those. These are the long ones. I don't like that one. These are short ones. We're making nails up one and be dramatic. These are the long ones that I, ha I use. And I think that they're meant to be just tips, but I just use them as the whole nail because I don't really care. Um, also, you can just decorate it or file it so it doesn't have that harsher edge right here. It doesn't look like that. It needs like it's a tip. So those are always fun to use. These are just 
shorter but like a little bit longer than a usual nail so they're probably around like my length of nail or longer I also have other ones in here like these are more like oval shapes I like to try and get nails I don't have to do a whole lot to as far as shaping them uh, but you would very much have that option. You could use uh, nail files or an electric nail file and file them down to any kind of shape that you want them to be. On here I have swatches of all the different nail polishes I have in that case. So on the back there's more. I like to do this just so I have kind of an idea up front because when I open this case, which is heavy right away, um, it is, it's, it's full. It's full. This is like a quick dry spray, but it doesn't work very well, so whatever. But all of these are various nail polishes I've collected, I've bought, I've been given over time, including top coats, there's a matte one, glossy ones in there, there are somewhere, uh, holographic pink, just a bunch of fun stuff. All different brands. This um, I actually got on Amazon. It was a whole rainbow pack, and I'll show you on here, it's this entire metallic range this whole one until here all of these came in a pack it was pretty cheap I don't remember how much it was but it was pretty cheap let me look up the brand because it's actually really good quality clean color nail lacquer yeah so that brand actually is pretty bomb so if you're looking for a bunch for a decent price that are pretty decent in quality I would, try, I would recommend those they're all metallic orange yeah blue green yeah they're all really fun so other ones you know nail polish can get really expensive the holographic ones are more expensive this, the Cirque ones are more expensive, which I think is this one, and I forget which other ones. But, I like to have a little bit of a range, so I, you know, for any kind of mood of nails. Okay, so today I decided to use some fishnet gloves, and what I did was I made sure that they were turned, uh, this one was originally turned inside out, so I made sure they were turned the right way. And I made it so that this little clump of extra on the top is going to be around where the nail is because I'm going to use that as extra fabric for the glue to grab onto so that the nail is a little bit more secured on the glove. And what I'm going to do with these ones in particular is I'm going to glue them on with hot glue just because it's a little bit faster and it stays pretty, pretty well. So, I mean, if, if you're trying to be Wolverine, this is also probably a good idea to make. <laughs> um, so these I'm letting just set for a few minutes just to make sure that it's really dry and in place. This one has been already sitting for a little while. So what I'm going to do is um, a lot of times the glue, it doesn't happen so much on the opera gloves, but on the anything that's thin, like fishnet or the more translucent flesh toned thinner gloves um, the glue will stick 
to the nail, so I have to gently pull them off. These ones are pretty good about not staying on. This one's a little more stuck. So just gotta kind of peel it off. Okay. You could also just keep it there until you're done with the nails if you really want to. Because that was kind of keeping it pretty well in place and now they're moving around more. Um, so maybe I won't do that to the other one. But I often will do that just so that they don't stick entirely. Now, let now to figure out what we're gonna do to decorate it, I guess. I have been wanting to make a set for my friend, Miss Monstrosity. And I, I made her like a more glamorous looking set a while ago, but her aesthetic is more so kind of where these are going. So I think that I'm gonna make a set for her. And that means it should be cute and creepy so let me see what I got a variety of things that I've collected. Um, these are some letters because I figured it'd be cute to write something on them. I have these which I thought would be kind of cute to maybe put on the actual gloves somewhere. And here are some bows and she loves bows so I might put that in there. Just these, these are I'm not sure if I'm going to use but in case we need some bling. Over here I definitely think I'm going to use all of these. I'm not sure so much about this one, but she does love uh, little dot type jewels. Um, and then I have pinks and blacks. And then these, which don't show up very well on nails because when you actually put them with glue, they just kind of don't show up a lot. But I think that that might look really pretty in this idea that I have. I also have these uh, brushes that I got on Wish that are pretty useful as far as if you wanna do any detail work or pushing stuff around. And I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna use, but this is the pink I was looking for. And I have a really nice black here, and this is a good black too. This is a good white in case I wanna use white. She loves glitter, so I'm thinking I'll use glitter. And then, this is the uh, holographic pink, which I might use, but I'm more prone to this one right now. This is kind of more the pink she do goes for. And some top coats. So, let's see what happens.
So I'm genuinely really excited with how these came out. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm really stoked on them. I already sent uh, Miss Monstrosity a picture of them and she was like, shut the F up. <laughs> so I think she really liked some. And I'm excited and I'm gonna start making some of these and selling them on Etsy and I think I'm gonna do videos for them as I make them at least like little uh, you know time-lapse videos of them for people to see them being made and I don't know it's just a really fun thing for me to do on the side when I feel creative I like to work with my hands sometimes so <laughs> these were really fun though because I like I knew the person it was for and I was doing it more specifically for her so I was able to really like go ham on it and know like her personality uh, with sometimes when I'm making stuff and it's not for a specific reason I don't really know like how far to go with it <laughs> so um, yeah Anyway, I'm, I'm really excited to eventually start putting those out. I will let you guys know when I put out my Etsy page and I'm gonna have nail gloves and maybe some other kind of accessories that I make for drag or just being an eccentric person like me. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Tragic Glamour. And thank you for watching this video. Yeah. Have a great day and I hope that you make some bitchin' nail gloves and send me pictures of them because I would like to see or tag me in them. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.